my all-time favourite fabrics to sew with is double gauze. It makes scrumptiously soft and lovely to wear clothing. Plus it's pretty simple to sew once you know how. I'm going to share with you my top tips for sewing with this gorgeous material. But first, what exactly is double gauze? It's made up of two layers of fine open weave cotton gauze. The layers are held together at regular intervals with teensy stitches. The result is lightweight but not thin, airy yet snuggly, sometimes even squishy to the touch. It's kind of like wearing a cloud. My first tip is to choose a suitable project. Go for a relaxed style of garment that will suit the soft crinkled look of the material. Think casual tops, dresses, pyjamas. Opt for an easy fitting or looser style. The fabric has some drape but will also hold the shape of the garment so it's great for swishy dresses or billowy blouses. It's lovely for summer clothes as it's lightweight and breathable. I also like wearing double gauze when it's slightly cooler as the thickness of the layers feels snugly. Double gauze can be a little see-through in lighter colours, so if you're making a dress you might want to go for darker colours or busy prints or wear a slip underneath. Try it out with our Stevie Top and Dress, Jamie Pyjamas, Alexa Play Suit, Indigo Smock and Bettine Dress. Tip number two is wash and press as you mean to go on. Pre-wash your fabric the way you plan to launder the finished garment. Double gauze shrivels up after the first wash. You can press out the creases easily with a steamy iron or leave it unpressed and embrace the creases. Just be sure to start as you mean to go on to avoid a finished garment that ends up either too big or too small. My third tip is be careful with your pins and needles. Double gauze can snag easily, so use fine pins and try to keep them within the seam allowances when you can to avoid leaving holes in the fabric. For the same reason, use a new, sharp 70 over 10 or 80 over 12 needle in your sewing machine. Tip number four is adjust your stitch settings. I like to lower the presser foot pressure to accommodate the slightly thicker fabric and avoid squishing the layers. Try a slightly longer stitch length to catch the looser weave. I usually use 2.8 to 3 millimeters. And use a walking foot or dual feed foot if you have one to feed the layers through the machine evenly and avoid fabric creep and rippled seams. My final tip is to create a strong finish. Double gauze can fray significantly, so it needs a strong seam finish to ensure your lovely handmade garment lasts. Use an overlocker or a serger if you have one, or try French seams, particularly useful if your fabric is on the see-through side. Or you can finish with a shorter length zigzag stitch on a regular sewing machine. And those are my top tips. You can search double gauze on tillyandthebuttons.com to find even more tips for sewing with this gorgeous material and subscribe to our channel for lots more sewing advice and inspiration. Happy sewing!